Hello everybody, welcome to Alex for Studios, Beginner's Guide to SDR. Today we're going to be looking at the Ham It Up Up Converter from Nulec. So it's pretty simple actually. It just up converts the low frequencies to a higher frequency that these things can read better. At least that's the idea of it. So we have quite a few bit stuff on here. It focuses. We got the up convert LED. It's when you flip this very satisfying clicky switch. You got USB power and low voltage. You do not want to see the red LED, which is why you want to provide adequate voltage. It comes with this, this little adapter. You're going to need that. It comes with this little antenna adapter. Uh, that's good if you have like one of those radio scanners with, with the big ass antenna. You could put it right on here. But today we're going to be hooking it up and looking for some shortwave radio. I want to have you guys come along for the process. You're going to need a printer cable. does not come with one, so make sure you have one handy. It looks like this, just USB. And you're going to want a power brick of some kind. You want to provide just 5 volts to it. It doesn't take much power. So I've also bought this, a SMA to alligator clips. And you're going to see why you're going to need that very soon. So first we're going to hook it up. RF in, RF out, very simple. Pass through is for just plain pass through. Whatever comes in here just comes out here. No up converting is done. Up convert, magic happens. This is a noise out optional. No matter how much digging I try to do, I couldn't figure out what the hell that did. So if any of you guys know, put in the comment section, I might just pin it. Because I want other people to know what that does too, including myself. We got the SMA connector. You know here. And that's about it. That's our whole ordeal. Now for an antenna, we're going to be using a custom one today. Now this is what I recommend for a custom antenna. I bought 50 feet, 100 feet actually, of speaker wire. Now this stuff is great, it's copper, I got pure copper, which is very conductive, it's supposed to be sealed so it won't oxidize right away, at least that's what I'm hoping for. And uh, if you want to, you could, you could split it up in half and make 200 feet. This will for sure meet at least a quarter of the wavelength of shortwave and you should be able to get AM. Now, I got 16 gauge I believe, and it's pretty thick, which makes it really good. You just hook this up. Now there's two things you could do. Now red goes just whatever one here. Now for the black you could do two things. You could hook it up to the other side or you can ground it. I found that grounding the black makes my signal very clear even when this thing is not fully extended outside. Um, so uh, putting a ground rod in your backyard is probably good enough for grounding. Remember you want to ground from here It'll ground the up converter and possibly this. Now, I actually did try grounding this with this before, and it actually caused my USB to disconnect. So, I do not recommend grounding this here with this plugged in. If you're using this SMA adapter on here, don't ground it, from my experience. Then, what you want to do is you're going to want to plug it in. I'll plug it in my computer. Should do 5 volts, no problem. Okay, it's plugged in now. At least it should be. Yep, it's showing USB power. And wait, one, and then wait for it. Up convert. Now it's up converting whatever's coming through here into here. Now we're gonna go on my computer and set it up. But first, let's wait until it's nighttime. See you guys in bed. Okay, everybody. So the SCR is plugged into my up converter. It's up converting. I have. The black side grounded, the red side plugged into my antenna. Now, right now, it is daytime, as you can see. Now, even though it's daytime, I'm actually still getting a lot. I'm getting uh, ham radio from the University of Missouri. I'm not getting much shortwave, and I am getting lots of AM. But even though it's daytime, there's still a lot to explore. Now, to use it, if you undo the shift, we're, we're going to be in the air band, because it's up converting to 125 megahertz. Well, actually, up here we're at 132. But if you want to make it easier, it's very simple. You had a negative 125 megahertz shift. And we're back down to shortwave again. 
you want to be choosing this sampling right here because that's the whole point of having an up converter and with that you can actually get your gain control back I like to have mine around mm, 7 and let's see there should be some people yapping around here I got some people from the University of Missouri Talking. Uh, it's very weak. Just gotta look around. That's the whole point of having a shortwave. I'm getting a lot of Morse code over here. Like, uh, look at that. Oh, hold on. Uh, right here. I wish I knew Morris code. A lot of this is ear piercing. Very ear piece piercing. Just all full of beeps, boops, and bops. Peaky contest, peaky contest, peaky contest. This is Whiskey 9 Yankee Bravo, W9YB, calling CQ. CQ40, 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 CQ40. This is Whiskey 9 Yankee Bravo, W9YB, for the school club roundup, listening for a call. Yeah, this is the University of Missouri, I believe. I think so, based on what I remember hearing. Not a very good signal. Again, my antenna is only a quarter way expanded. But with the. Yeah, we got some goodies. Here. Yeah, another station. Yep, so basically that's it. With the Hamlet up converter, all you really gotta do is just ex ex uh, experiment. So yeah, we got, uh, that's basically the Hamlet up up converter. If you want it to be down here, you just turn on the one negative 125 megahertz shift uh, and start exploring. That's what it's all about. Test out different antenna designs and just explore that's what it's all about right if you guys have any questions make sure you go down to the comment section and ask and i'll answer as fast as i can and i'll see you in the next one